for you. Hello readers, welcome to my channel. This is Books with Sakshi and I upload regular videos on my YouTube channel related to books. If you are someone who is interested in books, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to sort of compare book versus show since Netflix has released two seasons of Bridgerton and the original book series consists of eight books in total. And Bridgerton is basically about the story of eight Bridgerton siblings. And in each book, the author talks about a particular sibling and the story revolves around that sibling. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about book one and season one on Netflix. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about Daphne's story and how I felt while reading the book and watching the show. A little background about this whole thing. So first of all, I watched the Netflix adaptation. I mostly don't do that if uh, I know that there is a book and the movie or the show has been adapted from it. So I always prefer to read the book then go to the adaptation. But in this case, I was really not sure whether I would like... Um, you know something from regency period and you know i would actually come to enjoy something of that sort so i just thought that you know let's just give it a try and you know let's see if i actually like it or not but when i watched bridgerton already two seasons were out and um, i just loved it I was so 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 obsessed with season 1 and season 2 was also there but I did not really like the season 2 uh, but when I read the Anthony's story which is in book 2 I absolutely loved that book. I'm going to cover Anthony's story in another video so I simply wanted to read all the books in the series to actually know what the author has originally written but if you're someone who is not a reader you can definitely treat yourself with the Netflix adaptation but reading definitely gives you like a lot of insights. So bringing your attention back to book one. Book one Duke and I is a story of Daphne and Simon and how they meet each other how they fall in love with each other and an interesting plot twist comes when Simon actually makes a wow in front of his father about something that uh, plays a very significant role is in his life something that you know greatly influenced his life and I would say affected his life for the better or worst you have to find out if you have already seen the season one of uh, Bridgerton Netflix you already must be knowing but in case you haven't then you are definitely going to find out all the answers now actually here comes the difference even though I know that uh, um, Netflix has not manipulated uh, a lot in book one, season one, um, but they have manipulated a lot in season two. But for that, you have to wait for another video where I'm going to talk about it all. But in season one, I don't think so. They have done major plot twist because when I was reading the book, which was after watching the show, I found changes like here and there, for example, um, um, there is this character of queen in the show but there is no as such queen in the book. There is also this Mr. Montrich uh, who is Simon's friend in the show but there is no Mr. Montrich in the book and so you know this just makes us feel that maybe the show wanted to be uh, you know inclusive and um, they, did, they didn't just want to you know have white characters in it. So that was really something we would appreciate. Another thing which I noticed while reading the book was uh, that, you know, when you read about Daphne, when you read about Simon, you get a lot of insights about the character's mind. Something you do not get while you are watching series or movies for obvious reasons because they cannot, you know, take you in depth of the character's heart and you know tell you each and everything about you know how they are feeling but books make it possible and that is why you know <laughs> it is always uh, I believe a controversial topic that you know books are better than movies or movies are better than books like the letter is definitely not the true case um, but I believe movies are individually great they just you know do the job they are intended to do but when movies or shows are adapted from books, I believe that readers have certain expectations, uh, you know, to uh, see certain things in a certain way like we have imagined and etc. 
so that's totally fine and i have no complaints because first of all i watched season one and i really loved it and that is when i decided to watch uh, read the books as well so definitely the show is just so amazing for someone who hasn't watched yet i would definitely recommend you to watch it also read the books if you possibly can because books are also just 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 brilliant uh so far i'm done with two books in the series book one and book two and now i'm on to third book and you know all the hot and steamy scenes that are there in um, you know the show you know you are going to get a lot more in the book and it's really interesting like especially the chemistry between uh, Daphne and Simon is something i just love uh, i liked it in the show as well but this book just gave me a totally different experience altogether and i absolutely loved their chemistry i just loved the character of simon uh, you know even on show i just loved his personality he looked so freaking awesome to me and smart and handsome and you know everything good but when i read about him i was already imagining you know him because i already visualized him on the screen and so his personality just you know felt something different like he's very uh, you know respectful towards daphne and everyone in general he's such a sweet and nice guy and you know he definitely had a troubled childhood and he has his insecurity and this is one thing which i even noticed in book 2 which is the story of anthony and i also read the author's note where the author talks about that you know she kind of wanted to um uh portray her male characters as vulnerable too because usually you know uh females are shown uh vulnerable and you know they are sensitive but hardly there are men who are portrayed as you know being vulnerable expressing themselves or you know having um fears related to their past so there is something that you know is troubling simon since his childhood and how he is overcoming that thing is something you know which will connect you with his personality i suppose so the book definitely explores all these you know fears vulnerabilities at great length and very soon i'm going to bring another video where i'm going to talk about book 2 season 2 of uh, Bridgerton series and this is the story of Anthony and Kate a lot of people have loved Anthony and Kate but i really didn't feel any connection with them to be honest when i watched Netflix adaptation because like they have done hell lot of changes i cannot even you know give you any spoilers unless you read the book but they have done hell lot of changes even like major plot changes i can't even you know understand why they had to do that but when i finished the book i finished it yesterday only i finished the book and i just loved it i loved the character you know portrayal i loved the the character of kate and anthony i loved 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 everything about that book to be honest and i loved this book too a little more than book 1 and uh, i gave it full on 5 stars and i'm going to talk about everything in detail in my upcoming video make sure you like this video and also do share it with your friends who are like bridgerton fans and also do subscribe to my channel and ask your friends to do the same if you enjoy my videos and i'll see you very soon in the upcoming videos until then you can also follow me on my instagram which is with the same handle books with sakshi and i would love to see you over there Until next time take care and keep reading